Hi guys, it's the LED, and today I'm changing things up again. Um, but today I'm going to do kind of a little like back to school, like all organization tips. I'm not really sure. Um, but basically, I'm just going to show you my school supplies and how I keep my stuff organized. And if you want to try it out, you can. I mean, it's not like I own it or anything. So, first. I want to start off with this, um, my binder. My binder is kind of like my headquarters. I keep all my stuff pretty much in it. Um, I got a case it. Case it. <laughs> um, I really like it because, um, it comes in my favorite color. And they're big, so I can hold all my stuff without having to worry about it breaking or like stretching or not being able to close all the way. Um, they're also really durable too, so I like them. Uh, first, it's got this little pocket right here. Um, right now I have my pencil and I have like a couple of papers in there. Um, it's like the technology use agreement for the school laptops. Um, so let's open it. <laughs> I have like a certain system where I do things, so I'll show you guys that. So, um, normally when I would open my, up my binder, I it looks like this. But I took my stuff that I had on top of my folder out so it wouldn't all dump. Um, I have this little... Um, composition book. Got it for, I don't know how much it was. At Walmart, I wrote my schedule in it. Um, I have some flute notes written down that I was going to do a cover of, and I never did. Um, that's all I have written down, and I have written down a letter to my favorite YouTuber, um, that I will hopefully eventually send. Then I have my two, um, agenda books. This one is my school supplied one. I write down my homework in it and um, as you can see I have highlighted and that's just if I need to take a book home for that subject. Like I had geometry highlighted so that means I would need to take my geometry book home. It's just a way to help me because I forget things a lot. The second one, which is so lovely decorated with DCI stickers, is my agenda book. I got this at Dollar Tree. It I like it because um, I think it has more space than my other one, and so I've been using this since last year. It's a 2015 um, book. I haven't been using it lately, but yeah. And then I have my library book. I love this book. Just recently found it, and yeah, I haven't read it since sixth grade. So yay, Peg Carrot. Um. Anyways, so let's open. The rings aren't too hard to open now. Okay, so here's a little thing. I'm not sponsored by anything, anyone. I'm just doing this, giving you guys advice or tips, even though I know school's already started for a lot of people. But, you know. So first, I have my kitten folder. This is, I keep it on top so that I, like, know to remember it. And basically, like, it's got my schedule in it right now. I wrote my name and stuff, but it's got my schedule. Um, and this is basically where I would keep, like, important papers if I need to sign anything. I do this, and I keep it in line with the sticky notes option on Windows 8. So I can remind myself over and over again. So next, I have this nice little five-star notebook got flowers all over it. I love it. I love five star brands. They have like some of the best durable stuff. And again, I'm not being sponsored. I'm just saying out of personal experience. Um, basically I have like, I have my schedule on here. I can't see that, but schedule. Um, and then I just use this. I tear out papers. Like if I need to do homework assignments, Luckily, though, we're switching over to our one-on-one -on -one initiative, which includes our school laptops. So, yeah, hopefully there'll be less and less paper. Now, this is another five-star, 
and the pictures are all jumbled because they won't stay in place. But I love this because it's got like a thing on the top, which I have it taped down. But you can paste pictures in there. Got some Dan and Phil, got some Steven Universe, got some John Tron. Yeah, and then a little Baymax in the corner. Um, this is a five subject notebook. So I love it because that's all I need. That's the classes I have because my other two classes are band and choir and then lunch. So, oh, I also have some pictures taped in there because I didn't have space on the cover. Um, shout out to my friends Matt and Rebecca right there. Shout out because he always shouts me out in his videos. So why not? Um, I'll leave the link, link in the description, I guess. Um... This first set I have for my nutrition and wellness class, and then on these little orange pages with the folders, which I don't use, um, I just marked like the next upcoming thing, like what that section would be afterwards. Like I have English on there, um, and then that's just where I would put English notes. I don't do assignments in because I don't want to tear papers out of it. This is just like notes and other things that I don't need to tear out. So you like. Chemistry, chemistry notes. Yes, I know my notes are very sloppy. That's why I've been taking them on the computer. Very nice. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, my the other section of my binder. I have the binder I got. It has a nice little like file system. So I have all of my folders in here. And it was the exact same number, which is great. Um, I, you, you probably, you guys probably can't see that, but um, yeah, I've got these like files, and each one going from front to back is my like periods and stuff that I have my classes. So my first one is my nutrition and wellness class with a pretty little owl folder. Um, and the the files they also have little like tabs on them that you. It came with little things to write and put in there. So it says facts, because you know, family and consumer sciences, because I'm taking another facts class next semester. Um, and then this is English with a little flower folder. Um, chemistry with a kind of plain blue and white striped folder. Uh, geometry with a kind of, I don't want to say like argyle, but I think that might be argyle. I don't know. Um, kind of pattern thing there um and then spanish which is this little pretty flower folder now all the folders i have except for my kitten folder are i don't know what the full name is but they're called like poly folders basically they're made out of like some kind of poly plastic thing that they're a lot more durable than paper folders and they don't rip as easily I don't know if they rip it all I mean I'm sure they do eventually but um and basically what I do with these file folders is I stick the folders excuse me in the back and if I have homework for that day I will excuse me put the homework in the front like as you can see I have like this paper in the front and that was our homework for today which I got done um yeah and that's what I do and then when the homework's done I'll put it back in the folder, and on the left side, I have, like, the class rules or whatever papers they gave us at the beginning of school that are just, like, for the whole year, and then on the right side, I have homework, and it's got a nice little strap on it so that I can just seal it. It's also got this little zipper pocket, which I don't really use. There's little, like, you can see there's little circle things in there, but those are just the whole punch things from the um, folders. So, then my book bag. My book bag isn't really necessarily a name brand. It is some brand that, um, uh, Adventurage Essentials. I don't know, I got it at Aldi's or something. It's actually a really nice bag. Um, it's got all these compartments in here, which I love. Um, it's even got, like, a little thing that you can, like, put your headphone cord through, which I don't use because I'm changing my song on Shuffle too many times from that uh it's got this little drink pocket it came with like a cooler case um it's got these two like side pocket things here and it's got this front pocket which i like because i keep like my 
stuff in there. I have my iPod cord, my deodorant, and my brush, and also my stylus. So there's also little like compartments within the compartments if you need to compartmentalize even more, which I don't. So yeah. Um inside my bag I have I don't know how they come there. Um my music folder. Um and it's got a little like thing in the back that you can put stuff in right now. I just have a pen. So yeah, it's a pretty nice bag. It's held up pretty well. I mean, I've only had it like a week, but, you know. So, as for organizing with my laptop. Now, obviously, I can't really show you screenshots while I'm filming because I'm filming on my laptop. So, what I do is, um, we have Google Classroom and we have Gmail. So, at one point, at some point, I might utilize... Um, like emailing myself the homework or, um, but right now I have sticky notes and they're all like equal on my desktop screen because I'm, you know, just like that. Um, but I have like sticky note with the homework and like what page it was, if I needed my book. Um, and I have my agenda book reminders. So... I usually haven't been forgetting. Oh, also I have a dry erase board in my locker that I write after the class. Be like, hey, take your geometry book home, take your chemistry book home. Um, yeah, stuff like that. So, um, that's all guys. This is a really long video. Um, if you actually watched it all the way through, congratulations. Um... Yeah, this was just kind of a little thing I thought of earlier when I was watching some haul video. Um, I hope this helped you guys. Um, I mean, I know it helps me. I mean, you do you. If this helped you, then great. Fantastic. I'm glad I could help. If it didn't, then you do you. So, um, leave comments down. Tell me what you thought. Um, if you liked it, if you applied anything, if you're already using something like this, maybe give me some tips, you know, to help. Um, give me also some flute requests, because I have no idea what to do. So, that's all guys. Um, I will see you later. Bye!